Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on the auto drive mod. So this was requested quite often that I do some English tutorials here on the functionalities of the mod. So here I am. Let's get started. This is intended to be a series of small tutorial videos. They are kept rather short and on to the point I hope. I'm not one to well explain too much about something so if you have any questions left just ask them in the comments. And if there are any bugs or any f any features you would like to add uh, to be added to the mod, please uh, post them on the GitHub repository. I will add a link in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. What is AutoDrive? AutoDrive is a mod which can be used to record a network of roads, and uh, then you can select destinations or create destinations on this uh, road network, and you can send your drivers from anywhere on this network to any destinations that you, have, that you have created. So let me show you an example. So first of all I'm just going to, to show you how I use it and then I'm going to show you uh, or explain to you which key bindings are default and so on. So for example now I have here open the hut and I can click on the edit mode which is this uh, rectangle warning symbol here. Okay so if I have this edit mode open I can see all the recorded routes on this map. So here I am now on my on my farm, on the Ravenport map, and as you can see, there are quite some some roads already recorded. And if I want to have this uh, sprayer, for example, drive to to my farm, I have one uh, recorded waypoint or destination over here, as you can see in a moment. So he's going over there, and there you see it already, this is cows, so this is my, my farm main point here. And I can send any driver from anywhere on the Ravenport map to over here. So let's say, for example, I switch to a vehicle which is currently parked anywhere close to the shop, I think. Yeah, over here. So I'm here at the shop in Ravenport. And as you can see, the road network is also extended over here. And from here I can also select my cow waypoint in the hut, which I currently do by some key bindings I have on my joystick. So here I'm just going to cows, send it off, and he's going to find its way to my farm. So this is pretty, pretty useful to me, and I hope also to you. Okay, so he's going to adjust the speed according to the, to the angle set here, and you can also set a default or maximum speed that he's going to drive at. So for example you could set it to 63 if you wanted to go at maximum speed. So as you can see he's going to speed up to 63. Or if you have concerns about the speed or something you can just slow him down and make sure he's going at a, at a safe speed. Alright, so he's going to arrive at the car soon. So now that this driver has arrived I can just take over. I can also disable the hut or don't show it. And for example, I just want to refill my sprayer here and then send it off to the next field again. I can do this. This is my manual work here, my manual labor. I'm just going here, refill it. And while it's refilling, I can already select the waypoint or the destination. So I wanted to go to field, what is it? I think eight I wanted to go to next. So as soon as he fill, he's filled up, I can just, one moment, yeah. So I'm going to assign him, uh, direct him more or less to a suitable location and I'm going to start him off. And now he's going off to field 8. So if I have this disabled the uh, edit mode, I can still see the current waypoints he's going to. So you can see if it's... Uh, working. So for example if you start at let's say at a very bad angle to the recorded waypoints. So for example from over here then you can still see if he's going to where he's uh, trying to go to and I mean in some instances this could uh, mean that the driver can't reach the waypoint and he might get stuck. So anyhow. Now he's going to field 8 and there you see the fed is already arriving to go to the shop uh, to, to my farm. 
And if I want to stop the fan, for example, if I want to take over again, I can just disable auto drive and continue driving myself. And I can always re-enable it from anywhere and auto drive is driving again. Alright. So this is the basic idea of the auto drive mod th that I can just send any driver to anywhere on the map. And uh, now for some explanations on how this works. So you can open the HUD by by the left alt key and num at zero. This is opening and closing the HUD. You can also move the HUD. Oh, <laughs> sorry, for starters you have to, you can uh, enable the mouse cursor with the middle mouse button. So, and if you have the mouse button enabled, you can uh, control all these buttons here and you can also move the HUD. If you just click with the mouse inside this, this top bar here, just like in your Windows uh, window. Okay. And you can also close the HUD and reopen it again with left alt numpad zero. Okay, so for example I can stop the driver by clicking on this uh, button here and I can re-enable it again. And all the other buttons um, I will explain either in this video or in the next uh, in, a, yeah, in one of the next videos in the series. So for example I can uh, explain to you how this works. This is the choose next destination, so select next or previous target uh, buttons. So I can already select next target. For example, if I wanted to go to the Hayloft, I can just select it over here, send it off, and Hayloft is over here, so he's just going there. And you can already select the next target while he's still approaching the current target, no problem. And he's always marking with green where he's currently going. Okay, so this is the halo. Then this is the recording button. This is something I want to show you in the next video because this is rather complicated. And I want to keep the videos rather short at one point. So in this video I just want to show you how to control it and how to send your drivers along. So I already showed you can here use the plus and minus buttons to increase the speed the driver is supposed to go at. So this is the maximum speed. He, wa he will slow down in, in curves. Okay, and then you can switch the mode over here. So the current mode is just drive, which means the driver is going to the destination. But you have also other modes, so pick up and deliver. You can use if you have a trailer and you want to pick up something at the first destination here and deliver it at the second one. And then you can also choose which fill type you want. And if you at the first uh, destination is a silo on your farm, for example, you can uh, it will try to unload the current uh, selected fill type. So, for example, soybeans, corn, and so on. You can just scroll through it with your mouse wheel over here. So generally, you can also select targets with your mouse wheel. Just hover over this uh, field here, and you can scroll with your mouse wheel to select any target. The same is. Uh, down here with the destination for the unload point, the area is basically uh, logically in half. So in the first half, if you scroll over here, you're selecting targets. And if you are in the second half here, you are selecting the fill time. Okay, so. Um, so I'm just going to show you one example of the pickup and deliver mode over here. So let's just attach one of the trailers here. Okay. And now I want to tell him to go pick up at the hayloft. Okay. And to keep it short, I'm just going to have him unload at the same hayloft on the other side. And straw is already selected. You could also use hay or anything else. So I'm using straw and I'm sending it off. Now this again here is the mode pick up and deliver. This is the second mode. So now he's finding his way to the hayloft destination, which I already showed you previously. 
So this is over here. And the Hayloft unload point is over there. So now he's arriving at Hayloft. He's going to pick up straw. And this is going to take some time because the trailer is obviously rather large. And when he's filled up completely, he's going to go to the Hayloft unload trigger. So let's just see how, how this works. And I'm going to stay out of the vehicle just to make make it clear to you that I'm not driving it currently. This is all auto drive. Okay, so now he's finding a way from this Hayloft trigger along the recorded routes over to the Hayloft unload trigger. And with these triggers, it's basically the best uh, to record the destination a good portion ahead of the trigger so that uh, maybe if you're starting to record the routes you only have small trailers but if you have larger trailers you also want them to be in the trigger so just uh, make the destination about 20 meters or so ahead and then if he's reaching the trigger he will stop even though he's not at the destination so you can see that now with the Hayloft unload destination I'm going to show you. So he made a round all around the, the cow uh, shed over there and now he's coming over here. And as you can see as soon as the trailer is reaching the, the trigger point here he's starting to unload. Okay. Okay. So this is the pick up and deliver mode and he would now endlessly go around and around. So let's just stop him over here. The third mode is just deliver. So if you have already something in your trailer that you just wanted to be delivered, he's going to the top destination here. So I don't show you this right now because it's more or less the same. Okay, and the fourth mode is the unload combine and I'm going to do a whole video on this mode because it's rather complicated to uh, yeah, it's more complicated than the rest of the modes and I want to do an, uh, an own video on this. Okay, I think this is about um, all on the basics of this mod and in the next video I'm going to show you how to record routes and everything there is to know about that. Okay, see you in the next video.